fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Last Epoch. Yes, EHG is still alive and kicking and just dropped update 115. Now before we get into this post should be a fairly short video. It is the golden age of action RPGs. You've never had more options when it comes to this genre and the last 30 days have been insane you had torchlight infinite season 5 you had cycle 2 from last epoch harbingers of ruin you had diablo 3 season 32 you had poe boat league and now you've got diablo 4 season 5 returning to hell all of that is within about a 30 to 32 day period which is just crazy absolutely crazy now for me i wish all of these companies talked I wish they spoke. Maybe they do and they don't like each other and they spread out their games at least every three or four weeks so that we can easily jump between them all and enjoy. But appears at least for this cycle that did not happen. So at least you've got a ton of options. Let's jump into the changes if you are still playing Last Epoch for update 115. And we're going to read through it. It's a decent little list of fixes and hopefully this... Uh, this helps with maybe some of your frustrations when it comes to bugs. Changes. If a player is currently in a monolith run and receives a party invite, the invite will be blocked to avoid disrupting the run. The invited player will receive a message your invite was declined, and that'll happen automatically. Fix an instance that allowed parties to rejoin ongoing boss fights when one of them didn't respawn. Timeline search now persists between echoes, which is nice. You don't have to keep typing it in. Now controller focuses always on the top level model during dialogues, added localization to dodge while evading and increased dodge rating shard. You can now press control F when using mouse and keyboard to automatically select the active input field in your currently open panel, such as stash or trees. We are for sure going to have to test that because we don't use a controller. We still use mouse and keyboard. UI changes. This is probably the best thing from update 115, in my opinion. Improve the positioning and layout of tooltips all the time. My tooltips are so big, they go off the screen. They're too big, they're off the screen. Yes, that's what she said. Added an option in settings to adjust the tooltip scale. Bug fixes. Fix several controller navigation problems in the dungeon door panel. Fix cases where stash tabs existed, but were not visible due to being in an invalid category. If anyone is still seeing this, this is something that have kind of popped up recently. If anyone is still experienced this after the patch, please submit an in-game bug report. So if you have stash tabs that basically aren't working, fix missing textures and checkpoints in the courtyard. Fixed capitalized for some affix names localization table. Fix the bug preventing necrotic shroud to divine shroud glow. Material effect, fix a bug where, which caused summon bosses, Majasa phase two, to not, to not show the correct boss health, fix an issue where the help button on the Nemesis UI only searched Nemesis, fix the bug where unique idol prophecies could drop non-unique idols, I've heard that one, fix issues we're showing tooltips when changing skills in the hotbar using controller, fix the buzz causing reflect damage to not trigger boss ward, Oh, that'd be cool. Maybe you can get around boss ward or maybe you can't kill the boss. That's pretty cool. Fi I mean, it's, they fixed it, so it's not cool anymore. Fix the bug where monument to protect protections added melee damage for shield rush was instead applying to shield bash. That is interesting. Our build does use monument of protection for my echo void knight dual shield. So it looks like we were buffing shield bash when it should have been bush buffing shield rush. Fix the bug where some minions, particularly totems, could sometimes get into situations where they could not attack despite having enemies within range. This bug would drive me crazy, especially on my totem master build with our Tempest totem not working correctly. So that's good. Added game port, gamepad support for Vault of Uncertain Fate. Fix an issue where the dungeon runs would sometimes not get cleaned up properly in party play. This could result in bugs like being unable to start a new dungeon run or being unable to portal to your party members. Okay. I've had multiple people personally reach out to me about this, saying that they get air code, I think it's 72 or something like that, when they're running dungeons and party play, that once they finish the dungeon, they can't reset it, which means they had to log out and log back in. When I'm looking at these bug reports, when I'm looking at these patch notes for EHG, the big hiccup I still hear over and over again is dungeon performance. 
So I'm glad that this is in here. Fixed invisible forgotten night in the shattered road. So that is update 115. I told you it was a fairly short video. And again, now that we are over a month since we have had cycle two, EHG is currently pushing for cycle three. I'm guessing end of October, early November. We're going to be getting primordial uniques. We're going to be getting a new story chapter. We're going to be getting a new end game system. So super excited to see that later this year. Now, earlier in the video, I talked about Torchlight, Last Epoch, Diablo 3, Diablo 4, PoE in the comment section, in the comment section. And even if it's none of those games, I want to know what game you are playing right now. Are you still holding on to Last Epoch? Did you jump to D3, then jump to PoE, then jump to D4? Are you playing something different? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Also in the comment section, if there is still a bug driving you crazy, Put it in the comment section so I can bubble it up. Please like, share, and subscribe if you think I've earned it. And remember, the best way to support is always Patreon. You're all awesome out there. Hopefully, you're entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.